Okay, we've got a real quick lesson this time, and it is uh, following on from another lesson we did where we looked at multiplication on a number line. Now this time we're looking at using the grid method instead of the number line because we're doing two digit by two digit. And actually, even if you're doing three digit by two digit or three digit by three digit, the grid method is a fantastic method for helping you with this. So, the reason we're not using the number line is if I got myself a question uh, a bit like this, um, and I start using the number line, and then I think, well, I'll partition it into 20 times, what is it, 20 times 13, I think myself, I don't know what 13 times doing. It, it, it's quite hard, okay? And you're going to see how this method is going to make life really, really easy for yourself. Grid method looks like this, okay? That's your grid. It's what you play noughts and crosses on. Here's my first cross. It's not a cross for noughts and crosses, but it is on multiplication. I'm just going to pop that there to remind myself that we're doing multiplication in case uh, halfway through doing the maths, I go, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. There it is, multiplication. That's what we're looking at today. So, let's get that question back up, shall we? 22 times 13. I'm going to show you how easy this is. So, I need to partition. Okay, let's partition that first number. 20 and 2, because it's made of two tens and two ones, 20 and 2. Let's partition this second number, 13. What's 13 made of? Tell your parent. That's right, 10 and 3. Okay, this is really easy if I know my 10 times table, which you must know, and I'll tell you what, if you don't know your 10 times table, get yourself over to ttrockstars.com and sign yourself up. We've already got an account on the school. There are loads of amazing uh, games that you can play on there. You can earn coins, get yourself a nice snazzy new hat, okay? And also I'll be on there and my class better win. Um, okay, 10 times 20. 10 times 20 should be really easy. Yeah, 10 times 20 is 200. 10 times two is 20. 20 times three, well, two times three is six, so 20 times three is 60. And three times two. <gasps> three times two? How will I ever answer that question? Oh yeah, it's six. Right. Okay, you've got this far. You're thinking, how does that help me with the answers? Well, I'm simply going to add all of these together. So, 20, ah, oh, sorry, 200 plus 60 is 260, plus 20, so look, 200 plus 60 is 260, 260 plus 20 equals 280 plus the 6 equals 286. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? Not hard at all. Let's just see if that still works with a slightly different calculation. Let's go again, shall we? Let's try this time. Oh, I'll do 15 times 15. Look at that, that's an exciting number. All right. Set up my grid. Number one thing I'm going to do here is my grid. Done it in green this time, especially because it's hard to see on the board. Uh, I'm going to put my multiplication up there so I don't forget what I'm doing halfway through. I'm going to partition these numbers. 15 is made of 10 and 5. 15 is made of oh, 10 and 5. Let's do this. 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times 5 is 50. 10 times 5 is 50. 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, can you see what I've done each time? I've done this times that, then I did that times that, and I did this times that, and then I did that times that. Okay, I'm going along each time. It's starting to look a bit confusing now, isn't it? Oh well. 100 plus 50 is 150 plus 50, well, 50 and 50 is 100, so 100 plus 100 is 200, plus 25, 225. Right, that's what it looks like. Guess what? It's your time to have a go. It's really easy uh, using the grid method. You could do this even with hundreds. In fact, I might pop an 100 one on for you as a little bit of an extra challenge. So, what am I going to do? Let's have... Um, we'll have uh, 13 times 14, start off nice and simple, then we'll up the game a little bit, we'll have uh, 24 times uh, 15, and then uh, shall we end on uh, quite a tricky one, let's have a big 100, shall we?
Let's have 125 times, oh, I don't know, 23. There we go. Just to show you that it is really, really easy. Okay, three questions for you to do. Off you go, pause. Oh, don't rub anything out, we're back. Let's make my grids. So, grid for the first one. Partition, 10 and three. Partition, 10 and four. Multiply, 10 times 10, 100. 10 times three, 30. 10 times four, 40. Four times three, 12. Add them together. 100, 140, 170, 182. Simple. Next, 24 times 15. Do my grid. Put in my partitioned numbers. Partition it, 20 and four. Partition it, 10 and five. Let's go. 10 times 20, 200. 10 times four, 40. 20 times 5. Remember, we're doing 20 times 5 this time. So, what is 20 times 5? It is 100. Um, what is 5 times 4? It is 20. Happy with all of that? All I need to do now is add it all together. So, 200 plus 100 is 300, 340, 360. Over to this one, you're going to see that it's not actually that hard at all. Let's do my grid alone. I have to do a slightly bigger grid this time because I'm partitioning three ways, aren't I? This time I've got the 100, the 20, and the 5. Yep, multiply by the 20 and the 3. Okay, so I'm going to do it a little bit slower, make sure that we're all on board at the same time. So I know that 20 times 10 is, yes, that's right, 200. So 20 times 100 would be 2,000! Massive number there, massive number. All right, 20 times 20, well, 2 times 2 is 4. 20 times 2 would be 40. 20 times 20 must be 400! Wow, this is a big number, isn't it? 3 times 100 is 300! Now what have we got now? Oh, let's do 3 times 20. Well, 3 times 2 is 6, so 3 times 20 is 60. 20 times 5, well, 2 times 5 is 10, so 20 times 5 must be 100. Uh, now, what have we got is 3 times 5, which is 15. Now at this point, it'd be worthwhile me just checking and making sure everything is right. Yep, 20 times 100 is 2,000. 3 times 100 is 300. 3 times 20, 3 times 2 is 60. Yeah, just check that 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 20 must be 40. So 20 times 20 must be 400. It's good. Right, now what I need to do is add it all up. Okie dokie. Let's take all these numbers. So let's just cross them off if we get them in. 2,000 plus 400, we're now at 2,400. Add 300, that's 2,700. Let's cross that one out. Let's add another 100, 2,800. Let's add 60, 2,860. Now let's add the 15, which gets us to 2,875. 2,875. Now, I'm panicking a little bit that that might not be right, but as long as I've followed the method, it should be. What your job is to do now is to take some two digit by two digit numbers. I've given you lots of ideas of ways to do this in the past, but one thing I would recommend doing, get yourself a piece of paper, a bit like this, two pieces of paper in fact, okay? You're gonna split them uh, up like this, and you're gonna put the numbers in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Cut them up along the lines, get yourself those little squares of paper, pop them into a, a nice plastic bag or something, or a, a reusable bag, and uh, get yourself out two numbers, boom, that's your first one, two numbers, boom, that's your second one, multiply them together, use the grid method, off you go.